Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with some Icarus. Continuing on with the uh, the base here. In this episode, I finally move out of the cave. Uh, just kind of tending to my variety of plants here. And then we're going to go check the cave base. Usually the uh, worms respawn, so we might have to take care of them. Give these plants some water. The water helps the yield, and I think it speeds them up slightly. Also build a, a rain collector here. Um, I ended up editing big chunks of this out because there's a lot of farming in this uh, session. It's about it. Oh, yep, they respawn. It's about five hours of footage crunched down to 17 minutes. So I had to move all the stuff out of the cave to a new, new building. We're gonna have endless uh, worm parts. These, uh, I've been watching this show called The Strain recently on uh, Disney. That's an older show about vampires. And they have these, like, these appendages that come out of their mouth to suck the blood out of people. And these cave worms look, look pretty much like those. So I'm making some rebar here out of steel because I want to make my base out of concrete. I read in a note somewhere that um, on the sticks map, um, even stone buildings can take damage in really bad storms. I haven't actually seen that yet, but um, I kind of like the look of concrete as well. It's a lot more expensive than just stone, because you got to make steel to make the rebar and screws. Instead of stone, you need to make some iron. But I, st I started out kind of making a 2x2. Two two. I wanted to see how far from the edge here I could go without uh, having issues. I don't have to build pillars when I use these kind of these giant blocks. They're more expensive than floors, but uh, I kind of like the look of them as well. And they're kind of like good foundations. So yeah, start with the 2x2. Two two. I end up deciding later on that 2x2 two two wasn't big enough, so I go to, I expand to a 3x3. Three three. But we'll start off with a 2x2. Two two. We'll get the core, the core things moved over to the new base. Later on in this episode, uh, I do some of the quests that are part of the open world. And the rewards were actually quite quite nice for um, how simple some of them are. I'm going to keep doing those quests in future episodes just to see what the variety is like. See what the rewards are like. The other thing I focus on in this episode is getting some more deluxe food. So we build the, uh, the kitchen items later on. And I build the fabricator in this episode. About two hours of mining, grinding in the underwater caves uh, was cut out. I leave a little bit of in, but uh, yeah, lots of grinding. Lots of storms too. After I move uh, most of the stuff over, I decide, yeah, two by two is too small. So lots of silica required. There's a lot of it around my base though, so that's good. But I don't think the resources respawn Concrete takes forever to make, so yeah, let's sped up that part. So here we go. We're going to a two by three first. I'm terrible at planning. I didn't really think uh, this through. I probably should have just gone with three by three right away. But I kind of wanted to protect all the stuff. So here's the underwater cave. I think we went to this last episode, but I left some of my smelters in here to... Uh, smelt some copper and iron and stuff. This time I'm bringing the fancy furnace so we can smelt gold and titanium and platinum down here. There's kind of two caves in here. There's one straight ahead and there's one off to the right. The straight ahead one's bigger. Uh, the one off to the right is a bit smaller. And this bigger cave, as I showed in the last episode, has a really weird bug. Where, um... So there's like a waterfall, this weird edge in the water. You can see it in the last episode. But you can fall down from this weird, it's, it's, it's broken basically. <laughs> Hopefully they fix it. It can be, if you had low health and you fell down, you could, you could die, I guess, from fall damage. So you gotta be careful. Oh, 
Oh, the other thing I play with later on in this episode is drilling a deep vein. So deep veins um, are pretty cool. You need biofuel, so we'll have to make some biofuel. But they're, I think they're infinite sources of items. I've seen ones for coal, for sulfur, for silica. Allegedly, there's gold ones out there, so if I find a gold one, I'm definitely going to put a, a drill on that. There's a biofuel version, and there's an electric version. That's my uh, rock sculpture to the right there. Got quite a few storms, but we're nice and cozy in our little concrete bunker here. It's like our survival bunker. On a brave new world. Okay, here we go. We're going for 3x3. Three three. <laughs> Upgrading already. Now, I said I was going to build my final base by the water, by moving water, like a waterfall. I might change that plan now that I'm kind of settling in here. I'm going to have to put a water pump down by the lake there. Hopefully it'll reach if I want to power some of the stuff that needs water. I'm going to relocate some of my plants here. Eventually I'll put my plants on like a proper deck so it's all nice and pretty, but for now. Oh yeah, this is a big milestone. The machine bench, finally. Took a while to grind up to that. I'm going to move everything up against the wall here. Make it somewhat pretty. Get a biofuel composter going on. What you'll need for that drill and for our cooking stove later on. Now I like to use sticks to make biofuel because I do have that talent that lets us turn logs into sticks. And I think it only takes five sticks per fuel versus if you did it with just wood, I think it would take the equivalent of 10 sticks. So I think it's more efficient to turn the wood into sticks first. There is a bear spawn pretty close to my base here. So every time he spawns, I t take him out because he's got some delicious uh, prime rib on him. And I'm liking the cave bow. I'm still grinding missions, uh, the deep vein mission, to try to get the best starting pickaxe. That's got a really good yield on it. And I just recently finished grinding up the suit of armor that gives you a 25% mining yield. So hopefully that'll help out on the deep vein extraction mission. I haven't tested it yet, but we'll see if it works. Okay, here we go. Biofuel, deep mining drill. It's actually pretty cheap to make. 10 electronics, which is a little, a little bit expensive. We're going to have to make the um, composite stuff next episode. That's a big circuit grind. So this is the first time I ever used this thing. Hello, dear. Um, <laughs> and it turns out it's really slow. But it's automated, so infinite, I think, and automated. Don't quote me on the infinite part, but I imagine it's kind of like many games where it's an infinite node. Let me know in a comment if you've set one of these up and let it run for a long, 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 long time. Now, I don't really need silica, but this was the one right outside my door, so I'm using this one. In the cave that I started in, there was a coal one. But let's get the basic cooking thing going on. This lets us turn raw meat into animal fat, which is used in later recipes. Unfortunately, the the more upgraded version of the cooking stuff doesn't let you make animal fat, as far as I know. And I finally figured out where the teas and coffees are. They're, they're actually, the recipes are in the campfire. So you need a thermos and then a ton of like either tea leaves or coffee beans. I think 30 to make like one thermos full of coffee or hot cocoa. The buffs are pretty nice, but I think ultimately what I'm going to run with is three types of, three different types of pie, which have really, really good bonuses. Now I need some refined wood here, so I set up a carpentry bench. I need refined wood for, wood for the bed. And the bed is better than the sleeping bag, because it gives you... The well-rested buff lasts a lot longer. I think it lasts for 900 seconds versus 600, I think. 
So it's worthwhile making the bed. It's a little bit bulkier, but worthwhile. And look at that. Looks comfortable. Makes me want to jump on it. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> it's been about 30 minutes. I think I got 21 silica. Not, uh, not, not that speedy. Now my food was rotting pretty quickly, so I decided to make an ice box. We don't have electricity yet, so we're we're kind of roughing it here. I headed over to the ice biome, which is really close to that to my starting area, like maybe a two or three minute run. And the ice in the ice box lasts quite a while, so we'll get that stashed in there. I grabbed about 90 ice. Like I said, next episode we'll get electricity set up. We'll build a biofuel generator. And maybe set up a fridge. I'll probably have to expand this base. I'm not sure whether I'm going to go up. Or just make the footprint bigger. I'll probably go up. I just, as I was making some stuff here. I think I was making... Uh, I forget what I was making. But I wanted to see the sun kind of go down here. Another storm raging out there, but it's nice and warm in our little cozy thing. Oh, I need to make a fireplace. That's the other thing, but they're pretty bulky. Ooh, our watermelons are coming in. I need to go venture out and find some corn and eventually some mushrooms to do these more fancy recipes like the meat pie. I don't really need soybean. I don't know why I keep growing it. And I'm not sure we can grow mushrooms in these uh, planters or not. I will find out once I find some mushrooms. Okay, we're going to do a mission here. We're going to do a hidden cache. It says it's hard. It's not hard at all. To be honest. And the reward is uh, it's so close to the base. But first, we're going to put the kitchen bench... And the biofuel stove in. You can't put down the biofuel stove until you have the kitchen bench built. Which I figured out after some googling. Okay. Berry pie. Mm-mm. Fruit pie. We're going to probably have to set up multiple composters with multiple fuel cans to always keep the fuel going. I didn't find a location with a waterfall yet for water power, so uh, I'm not sure I'll be doing the water power. We'll see. We can stay on this map forever, so we could move again. I might just go with biofuel generators plus solar, though. Unfortunately, there's no batteries in this game, so the solar only works during the day. Oh, I just got struck by lightning. Ouch, I'm on fire. <laughs> Okay, I was going to run into the lake, but, uh, it uh, seemed to go out, luckily. You should be able to dump a water can on your head. Jeez, that's nasty weather. It's one of my favorite things about this game, is the other weather patterns. Okay, we are going to do that quest now, the, uh, search for stuff. It's just a box out here in the little woods with some wood and tree sap. So that's the reward, I guess. The quest is complete. Really easy, not so great reward, but this next one, which I'll do in a moment here, uh, is a hunting quest, which had a much better reward. Uh, and was harder, but uh, not too bad. Okay, here's our buff. We've got, yeah, 900 seconds from the bed, well rested. Okay, we're going to do a medium crazed creature quest, and this one's really close as well. Just, just like, feet away from us, so we'll creep down there and see what it is. I want to get a few stealth hits in before we uh, engage fully here. Let me know if you like these shorter, edited down versions of the Icarus. I find this game has a 
huge amount of grinding and there's no it's not fun watching someone hit a rock for two three hours so this is why I edited most of that out okay we got a roaming beast here it looks like a black wolf oh he's got a lot of health he's got a lot of health okay he's got a face full of arrows poor doggy he started it Actually, I started it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay, that's freaking awesome. That's the. Uh, I think it just set up some fireworks too. That's the reward. I'm. I'm guessing. Oops, didn't want to pick you up. Yeah, give me a give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this shorter version. I still have to plan out kind of my dream house, but I'm still got to work through the tech. We got to get the uh, composite thingamajig made, which is 60 electronics. That's going to be a lot of gold grinding. Uh, and I want to make a composite bow. Keep doing these quests. Okay, what do we get here? We have a choice: uh, an axe and some wood. Nah. A bow and some bone arrows. Nee. But we got some iron crates. And these are kind of nice. That's a pretty good reward for like a 30 second fight. And I think technically we could deconstruct those and get some iron and get out of them. I might try that next time. Goodbye. <laughs> So yeah, I head over to uh, look for some corn. There was some pretty close to my base. Uh, so we can make some of those fancier dishes. I still need to find some mushrooms. I think I find them in a cave. I think I will have to find them in a cave uh, in the future. But we're going to wrap it up there. Uh... We'll check out the night scenery here. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.